nestled in the Blackwater Valley, just off the N72 Road, by the town of Castletown Roach, lies the remarkably well-preserved ruins of the Bridgetown Priory. Surrounded by farmland next to the Blackwater River, what is the crack with this priory? The priory was built in the 13th century on land donated to the Augustinians by the Fitzhugh family. Shortly after construction, ownership was passed to the roaches of the nearby Castletown Roach. There were wooden bridges here that crossed the River Blackwater, which is what gave the abbey its name. It stands as one of the best examples of a 13th century monastery, having cluster layout with the church on the north side as is typical of the design, although the walls are of poor construction built with limestone rubble. In the 16th century, when Henry VIII was having his spaff with the church over his ability to divorce, he ordered the dissolution of the monasteries across Great Britain and Ireland, resulting in the dissolution and suppression of this abbey in the 1540s. There are conflicting accounts of what happened in the decades after. One account says that it was surrendered to Sir Henry Sidney, Lord Deputy of Ireland at the time, in 1573, and was abandoned by monks in the years following, eventually ending up again with the Roaches of Castletown Roach and Sir Daniel O'Brien, who was a politician and soldier at the time. Another account claims that the Roaches reclaimed the monastery in 1577, and the monks stayed until at least 1592, when the priory was granted to Ladoish Brisket. Regardless of which account is true, the abbey was left in a ruinous state in the centuries that followed. The bridge for which the abbey had its name was destroyed in the 17th century by Cromwellian forces during the plantation of Ireland. Over the course of the 18th and 19th century, the condition of the priory deteriorated further, with local peasants using it for ball games and other activities, and even with cases of people living in the tombs in the priory. By the turn of the 20th century, according to the local parish priest at the time, the very reverend Michael Cannon Higgins. The site was described as being ivy covered and in a state of collapse. Over the course of the late 20th century and into the 21st, there have been several rounds of restoration works carried out in the 1970s, the 90s, and most recently in 2010, all carried out by Cork County Council, who took ownership of the site in 1992. To come visit the priory, it's quite easy to do so by road being two kilometres south of Castletown Roach on the N72 in North Cork. Reaching Castletown Roach without a car is more difficult, but there is a twice week daily local link bus service between Mallow and Formoy that can be used to reach Castletown Roach. Thank you for listening, and slán that.